Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This Ummah, if unlike any other, after almost a thousand years had passed since the Hijrah, 930 years to be exact, this Ummah still continued to produce great ulama. One such alim was the great and famous Mullah Ali al Qari Rahimahullah. He was born in the year 930 after Hijrah. Mullah Ali al Qari Rahimahullah's full name was Nuruddin Ali ibn Sultan Muhammad al Hirawi al Makki al Hanafi al Qari. Mullah Ali al Qari Rahimahullah was an Afghan in origin, born in the town of Herat in Afghanistan, and it is there that he began his studies in the deen. Mullah Ali al Qari Rahimahullah is one of those ulama whose knowledge encompassed every single field of the deen. He was a muhaddith, a faqih. A historian, a mufassir, a linguist, a poet, a zahid, and a qari. He was so looked up to in the field of qira'ah that he became known up until this very day and for all time in fact as al-qari. He wasn't of the stage type of wedding singer qurra as we have today where a man is looked up to and referred to as a qari because of how long he can hold his breath and how many tunes he can recite in irrespective of how little of the sunnah he follows. Because that doesn't make one a real Qari. Rather, a Qari is someone like Mullah Ali al Qari rahimahullah who lived the Quran in his everyday life, who had the utmost piety, whose knowledge of the Quran and his various sciences put him a rank above others, who when a person saw him, you were under no illusions that this is one of the awliya Allah. Mullah Ali al Qari rahimahullah began his studies in Afghanistan under the ulama there. He memorized the Quran and excelled in his knowledge. Thereafter, he left Afghanistan and settled in Mecca, which is why he is known as being a Makki. And after settling in Mecca, he continued his studies under the ulama there. Two of his famous teachers in Mecca was Imam Ibn Hajar al-Haytami, the famous Shafi'i alim, who amongst his many works that he had written is the famous Shafi'i fiqh book known as Tuhfatul Muhtaj. The other famous teacher of Mullah Ali al-Qari was the great Imam Muttaqi al-Hindi, who amongst the hundred or so books that he had authored, the most famous one is Kanzul Ummal. These are just two of the world-renowned ulama that Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah had studied under. That's not to say that they were the only ones, because he had studied by the ulama who lived in Mecca, as well as the ulama that would come to visit Mecca for Hajj and Umrah. So there was a wide array of teachers that Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah had studied under. Mullah Ali al Qari rahimahullah being a Zahid, he did not go in for all the worldly glitter, nor did he concern himself with positions or causing up to people of power and influence. In fact, that was something which was instilled into him by his father, because his father did not want his son, Mullah Ali al Qari, now to become an alim that stands at the doors of the rulers. In our terms today, he didn't want that he should become one of the scholars for dollars. That is why Mullah Ali Al Qari never accepted any endowments from the government or even from the normal public. Rather, whatever he had, whatever he ate, came from wealth that he had earned himself. Apart from all of his knowledge of the various sciences of Islam, Mullah Ali Al Qari Rahimahullah was also known for having a beautiful handwriting. In those days, there was no such thing as a printing press and copy machines and all these sort of things that we have today. So what Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah would do is that every year he would write the entire Qur'an by hand in that famous handwriting of his. And he would write in the margins a brief tafsir as well as the differences in the qira'at which would appear on those ayat. And he would then sell this mushaf and from that money he would pay for his expenses until the next year. In this manner, each and every single year he would write the entire Qur'an by hand with these additional footnotes. This is apart from the classes that he would teach, which would be attended by ulama and students alike, from all walks of life and all madahib. There was no one but that they recognized the lofty rank and virtue of Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah. Additionally, apart from these classes, Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah was also a prolific writer. He wrote more than a hundred books on different, different topics. He authored the book known as Al-Asrar al-Marfu'a fil Akhbar al-Mawdu'a wherein he listed those narrations that are graded as being fabrications. And this book is an invaluable asset to ulama up until this day. In the field of tafsir, he wrote a book called Anwar al-Quran wa Asrar al-Furqan. 
One of his famous works is a book known as Jam'u al-Wasail fi Sharh al-Shama'il, which is a detailed commentary on Imam al-Tirmidhi rahimahullah's famous kitab al-Shama'il al-Muhammadiyya, which is also better known as al-Shama'il al-Tirmidhi. He wrote a book known, known as Jamalain, which is a marginal commentary on the famous tafsir Jalalain. He authored the famous book known as Al-Hizb al-A'zam, which many people, ulama and lame people alike read. He wrote an explanation and commentary of the famous Qasida Burda. His most famous work though is his commentary known as Mirqatul Mafatih, which is an explanation of the hadith book known as Mishkatul Masabih. He wrote an explanation on Al Fiqh al Akbar of Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, which he titled Minah al Rawd al Azhar fi Sharh al Fiqh al Akbar. There is hardly a topic that a person can think of, the big, the small, and even the obscure but that Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah had authored something regarding it. Mullah Ali al-Qari left behind a mountain of benefit for the Ummah. That is also one of the reasons that he is so highly regarded by the ulama. Imam Ibn Abidin al-Shami rahimahullah used to say that Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah was the mujaddid of his age, that Allah had revived the deen through him. And this is something that every honest person will attest to, that one man could produce so much faultless works of the deen, all without the means of all the technology that we have available today, where upon the click of a button you can have thousands of kitabs at your fingertips, where copying and pasting is the order of the day, and where despite all of that, people still make mistakes. So truly, Mullah Ali al-Qari rahimahullah was someone that Allah had chosen for that task, and he had done an excellent job of it. May Allah raise his ranks in Jannah and allow us to take lesson from his life and follow in his footsteps because he lived a mere 400 years ago and he achieved all of this. So what excuse have we got for sitting back and doing nothing? May Allah grant us all the understanding. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen wa akhiru da'awana anilhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.